friends we're back again so today we are going to learn how to make a hair bowl like these ones here a beautiful hair bowl so i'm going to be making use of a milk color cone a ball sorry the milk color is from baby lamb company yeah baby lamb company so you have to set our counter oh it's already set zero 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 the counter is as, as zero then the machine you put your tension the machine head put this attention is so we're going to bring out the the pins now it depends on how how you want to work to come out like this my own i used two by one the reason why it came out this way so if you want your own to come out this way you make use of two by one if you don't want it you can still make use of one by one so we're making use of two by one bring out sorry about that 50 pins depends on how wide you want your work to be so i'm making use of 50 pins i said that i'll be using two by one that's what i'm doing two by one Okay, so this is our knitting yarn. I am, I want to point out something. If you're making use of ball in knitting, if you want to bring out the tail, make sure you put your hand like this one is already out. This one is already ball. It's not all. It's not all that you see that is out like this. So. If you bring it you put your two fingers in here bring it out and look for the tail do not make the mistake of making use of this one this can be deceptive this if you make use of this you find it very difficult your wool might end up tangling so don't be deceived make use of the find look for the tail in here okay so let's get to work. Pass your, your wool here, then you cast on, cast on. So I'm casting on my wool <clears throat> sorry knitting yarn is same thing as wool knitting wool so cast on on the pin make sure you don't miss out any of the pins So we're done casting on then the work begins bring out the pins move again bring out the pins Again, bring out the pin. Again, so this is going to be the last one. The essence of bringing out the pins is for for you not to miss out for you not to miss out any of the work. 
if you don't do it this way as a beginner you might end up having a hole in one of the pins okay you need If you're knitting, make sure you're looking at your counter. Yeah. Make sure you're looking at your counter. So we have 20. Then bring down the pins. Use your transfer pin. This is the transfer pin. Now this is three by three and two. So tucking in my work. Getting it ready for casting out. While talking in this alignment, while aligning, make sure you do that properly. Take this rope here. This rope and tuck it in so it won't be seen. So we are done with the alignment. So you pass, make a pass, and then you cast. Cast them out. So I'm casting out. Not too tight, not too loose.
good you cut the rope and you tie it so the next thing now is to pass our elastic